Hello, Holly here from Let's Plan. I'm here making a quick tutorial video to show you how you would duplicate and move pages or screenshot templates to put into different sections of your planner. I get asked this question a lot. So I'm gonna show you the method that I use and that I find easiest. So I have open a notes page that I'm gonna show you how you would duplicate if you wanted more of these. So you'd go to the page you wanna duplicate. Up at the top corner here next to your um, editing mode, you're going to find an icon with the plus on the piece of paper with a folded corner. Click that. And what you're going to do is leave the settings on after, that way you can you know where your duplicated page will go and you just simply click on the picture of the page and it'll drop in a second page right behind the first. So let me just take my finger, there's our first one and there's our second one. That's how easy it is to duplicate the page. So now let's say you wanted to duplicate, let me go back to August, that's the month we're in. So let's click on the title and let me go to the blank page in August. Now let's say you wanted to add in some of your templates onto this page. You could duplicate this page as many times as needed at this point, or you could go up to your templates. And let's say you wanted to add in, you know, an outfits page and have it right within your August month. Click on weekday outfits, let that load. Now you can do this by taking a screenshot, um, I find is the easiest way. I'll show you another method in just a second, but if you know how to do a screenshot on your iPad, you click the home button and the like power button or the button to um, make your screen black on your iPad at the same time and it'll take a screenshot. There it is, and you know it's done it by, it, it'll put it right down in the bottom corner there for you and then it'll disappear. So now what we're gonna do is go back to August we're going to go to that blank page in August and we're going to add that screenshot as a photo. So I'm going up to my pen tool and I'm going to put it in the editing mode and I'm going to click on the picture icon. By double clicking it, it's going to open up your photos that you have stored on your iPad. Most people have it connected to a cloud that will then show you everything you have on your phone also. So I'm going to click on this weekday outfits it's going to put it on my page. Now what I want to do is crop out any of this extra stuff besides the page. So these little um, triang uh, triangle, oh my gosh, rectangles around the side allow you to crop. So you click on one of those and you click on crop. Then these little blue dots, you can drag in and get it to like the white part of your page to get rid of everything and click done. And there it is. Now you can size it on your page wherever you want it. Some people leave it um, to a certain size so they have room for writing or pictures around it. Once you get it where you want, just click off of it and now it's right there on your page. So now let's turn off the editing mode. I will go back to August and show you. So here's our August page. Let's go to the blank page. And now we have the weekday outfit right on that page. So how you would get rid of this is you would have to go to your blank tool or your editing tool, click on the picture icon again and then click on the page. Because it's an image, if when you just click on the page, it'll bring up this red circle with the X and it'll allow you to delete that. So if you wanna add in pages into any sections of the planner, that is probably your best bet. Otherwise, you have to work around the hyperlinks. Um, so you would go into whatever section, duplicate the blank page, and then add in how many pages you want. Let me show you the other option that you can use um, for some people that might wanna do it another way. So turn off your editing mode, you would go to templates. Now let's say I wanted to add a habit tracker um, to one of my sections. I would click on the habit tracker, I would go to the three dots, I would click on copy page. Give it a second. And let's say we wanna add this one right in our September section. So you would go down to September. Find the page that you want it to come after. So I'm gonna put it right after this page in my planner. I go back up to the little folded piece of paper with the plus sign. And I just go ahead and click on the page that's showing that I want my, um, or I'm sorry, I'm going to click on paste page because I wanna paste the page we just copied behind this page. So it's going to show you the current page you're on. You're going to paste the page behind it. There we go, it's pasted. So now when I go back to September, let me show you, here's our September. The problem is if I were just to click on any of these icons or the word September, it's not going to show me that habit tracker. I need to remember 
that I put it in behind this page and use the method of swiping because there aren't any hyperlinks that will direct you directly to this page because you moved it within the planner. So that's why taking the screenshot method might work better for most people. So it works good to do the screenshot method also if you wanna fill in your blank sections of your numbered tabs. So up here, when you write your title on here and you click on this, it's going to bring you to the first blank page. The problem is if we wanted to add in the page by doing paste page, let me click this again, it's going to make me choose if I want it before or after this blank page. Um, I want it on it, but it won't do that for me because of the hyperlink. So if I just push on paste page here, what happens is the blank page is there that is hyperlinked to this title box. So you have the blank page. If I were to click the arrow to get to the next blank page, it'll take me to that arrow, but in between there, I pasted that. So that's why the screenshot method is a little bit easier because you don't have to remember where you have pages and when you're using the hyperlinks, they're meant to just jump to the next page. Um, and adding pages, not knowing where you would like them within the planner, that's why the screenshot, putting it into a PNG form would make it easier to organize your planner. So I hope that makes sense. Um, do the screenshot method. If you can't do that for some reason, then you can do this method, but you just need to remember where you've pasted your page. So if you have any questions, or even if you know a different way of doing this that I don't know of, um, please message me on Etsy. I would love to hear from you.